See more than horses come through here. You have my word. If the counselor is in Leowin or the surrounding countryside, the Ivory Brigade will find her. Not now, citizen. Can't you see I have my hands full at the moment? I'm... <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Leowin's problems are legion, and now the Wood Elf Archer's predictions seem to be coming true. Damn these old Imperial secrets. The Wood Elf, Everly Sharp Arrow. She brought news that the Dark Brotherhood was targeting members of the Elder Council. All because of some secret of the Longhouse Emperors. We took her warning seriously, but Jiric refused Brigadine protection. With that Guild of Assassins, I'm not sure what to think. But Jiric is missing, and I don't have enough Brigadines at the ready to conduct the proper search. Here, let me update your map. These are places Jiric visits during her daily routine. On paper, Countess Caro rules Leowin, but in practice, the Chamber of Legates governs the city. Indeed. Since the fall of the Empire, the Ivory Brigade had to redouble its efforts to replace the Imperial Legions. The Three Banners War. Let the Alliances fight over the Ruby Throne as long as they leave us in peace. I just wish... I Interesting. She arrived a short time ago with a tale straight out of a mystery novel. She said that Emperor Leovic's former steward had been murdered by the Dark Brotherhood. She apparently has been investigating this so-called Longhouse Emperor secret for a while now. She ap Captain, are you really trusting the fate of Counselor Jirik to this... this outsider? Well, why didn't Counselor Jirik keep your warnings? If the Ivory Brigade requires mercenaries to do their job, perhaps Leowen needs different protectors. Spare a copper or two. Pico, over here. Rock grow. Thanks for your aid.
Counselor Jurek? Oh, pardon me. You're not the counselor. Apologies. I heard you stumbling about and thought it might be Counselor Jurek. Oh, no one important, I assure you. I'm simply one of the counselor's aides. I... She initially refused the captain's offer, but she received a letter that made her uh, uneasy. Last. <laughs> to believe I was attacked an assassin <laughs> counselor Jerick damn we're too late damn it I'm too late poor counselor Jerick she didn't deserve to die like that at least I don't think she did glad to see you by the way did you the mark of the dark brotherhood just like with Faro lupus uh sorry I'm working for Councillor Leviticus, the head of the Chamber of Legates. I came to Leowin to warn him after I stumbled across some secret concerning the Longhouse Emperors. It relates to something called the Four Ambitions of Mayrun's Dagon. I think they're Daedric weapons, but I'm still puzzling that out. I was working for Faro Lupus before he was murdered. Found a strange... Yeah, that's what brought me here. I found a list of names. Faro Lupus and members of the Elder Council. Let me have your map. I'll mark where Counselors Valeria and Sophus were last seen. Go warn them, convince them to take precautions. Then meet me at Counselor Jirik's manor in the city. I'll get the city guards to come and gather the Counselor's body. She shouldn't just be left out here. Then I'll head to Counselor Jirik's manor. When you're done checking on Counselor Valeria and Counselor Sophus, meet me there. Oh, I'm still trying to make a name for myself. I was green as a blade of grass when we met in Ossinium. Now I'm... We weren't expecting visitors. Are you... Are you here to speak with Counselor Sophus? I'm afraid my husband has taken our dog for a walk. Is Danger? What are you talking about? Does this have something to do with that letter? And Captain Rianne? I see. Well, if the Ivory Brigade sent you... My, hu my husband, Valen, received a letter from an old friend this morning. Faro Lupus, Emperor Leovic's steward. I could... Take 
taking you so long. They should... Valen! No! Oh, Valen! Oh, my love! You know, Valen acted strange after the letter from Faral Lupus arrived. A scroll, sealed and bearing my husband's stamp. Take it. Stay alert. I have it on good authority that I'm in danger. Of course, Counselor. Step back and state your business. I have every reason to believe that my life is in danger. I was beginning to suspect as much. Very well. Lupus. Emperor Leovic's old steward? And Jirik as well? Gods. They are targeting the Elder Council. The ambitions? I heard that term once before, years ago. I must go to Tidewater Cave. I have a cache hidden there, and I need to check my records. Meanwhile, I suggest you find Jirik's files. Possibly. I oversaw the Imperial Treasury, so my records deal with expenditures and collections. I have documents going as far back as Emperor Morikar. Extremely well. We were rivals as well as colleagues on the Elder Council. It was that way between all of the counselors, I suppose. I'm glad you're here. I've been searching all over, but I could use your help. This place is huge. Why do rich people need so many rooms? Sophus is dead? Damn! Was it the Dark Brotherhood? 
What am I saying? Of course it was. I knew you'd be a help, but I didn't expect you to just have the answer the moment you walked in. Good job. Hidden compartment? I love it! I mean, I hate that people have died, but let me see that. Hmm, that's a code, all right. Some of the other documents I found use something similar. Good idea. We need to report in to Counselor Leviticus anyway. Let him know what we uncovered. If he has a qualified scribe, great. If not, I know someone. They help me. I can't help feeling that once we solve the secret of the Longhouse Emperors, we'll know how to stop the Dark Brotherhood from murdering any more of the counselors. I need your report, mercenary. Word reached me that Counselor Jirik was murdered. What about- That's the Black Hand, symbol of the Dark Brotherhood. I wish Jirik and Sophus had allowed me to assign brigadines to protect them. At least Valeria, however reluctantly, agreed to a military escort. It appears that Counselor Leviticus's trust in the Wood Elf was not misplaced. Captain Rian and the Ivory Brigade will deal with the Dark Brotherhood. We are... You must be the mercenary that Captain Rian told me about. And I see you're working with Everly Sharp Arrow. Good. Good. Damn it all to oblivion and back. I should have taken Faro Lupus more seriously when I received his letter. Yes, that's the Longhouse Emperor's Code. Only a handful of Imperial scribes can decipher it. I know one. Baragon. I'll send for Very good. I've sent messages to Itinia and Vandacia already, as neither of them are currently within Leowin's jurisdiction. Everything we do now must be swift if we are to get ahead of this. Eivor has always had an affinity for the Imperial military. When she received her letter of warning from Pharaoh Lupus, she sent word to me. Only a token force of brigadines guards Fort Blueblood. If the Dark Brotherhood is truly our enemy, I fear a lone assassin can bypass the fort's defenses with relative ease. The Longhouse Emperors were Reachmen, who seized control of the Empire and ruled for some 40 years. Leovic made a mistake. When he decided to declare Daedra worship as the law of the land, Duke Varen Aquilario subjected. Uh, unfortunately, no. Varen disappeared a few years later and the Empire collapsed. Now the soul. Fort Blue Blood? That's to the east across the river. I'll meet you there. Yeah. 
This was not such a grand idea. Hey! Hey! Over here! I need some help. I don't know which of the eight divines sent you this way, but I'm glad to see you. Uh, the name's Bastion. The Dark Elf Tanare Vels. She's a traveler I met along the road. The cave is Deep Scorn Hollow. Untie me, please. The Silvels will pay well if you help me get Quisley out of whatever trouble he's in. And... Oh, thank you. Uh, look around, would you? I'd like to examine whatever my attacker dropped. Did you find something? Here, let me have a look. A letter? I knew I saw something fall out of Tanare's satchel when she ambushed me. Damn it! I guess that explains why Tanare knocked me out and tied me up. Of course. I ought to just let the Dark Elf have him, but it would be... <sighs> dishonorable. Probably? Yes, yes I did. We were just idly talking on the road. It never occurred to me that someone else might be looking for that petulant brat. No, not that I noticed. She said to keep an eye out for smugglers along the coast, and departed soon after. I should try to hide it better, I suppose. We were raised together, more or less. Except he was the firstborn of a wealthy family, and I was the foundling they took in. The letter. I ought to just let the... This is different for Quisley. He's not one for any sort of rough living. Other... There's more to this place than meets the eye. First time I've ever looked for Quisley in such a rustic location. Not his usual style. sunk into the ground here. Quisley really got him. I wonder what this place was. It doesn't look dwarven. Ah! There's roots. It looks like there's another passage beyond.
our voice town. Those lunatics will hear you. Look, they have captives. Just over here. Let me out before these cultists kill me. I would Let me out too. Here. There's a cult of Sithis in these caves. Life. They sacrifice. Thank you. We've been... You should get out of here too, stranger. These people, the Unmakers, they're crazy. I've met no one by that name, but that doesn't mean he's in here somewhere. The only non-cultist I've seen in days was a dark elf who sneaked by a short time ago. She motioned for us to wait and left without a word. I... They're cultists, I think. They follow someone called the Daughter of Sithis and... Before we continue, let's talk a moment. Cultists? That explains some of the decoration in here. So much for the smuggler hypothesis. I didn't expect to have to fight through a nest of cultists to extract Quisley from this mess, but so be it. What's there to know? They worship a god of death, darkness, and primordial chaos. Nothing good can come of that. Allowing Quisley to be dragged off to angry criminals is not much of an improvement. While Quisley might deserve it, I can't let Tanari Vels get him either. It's a long story. Suffice it to say, I owe his family a great debt. I'm the son of Lord Martel Halix, the traitor. I suppose the story is not well known outside of court circles. My father was one of High King Emmerich's most trusted advisors. He failed, of course. Others in my family were implicated in the plot. The High King stripped House Halix of its titles and domains. That's what the Silvels say when they need me to help him. But he's their son. I'm just someone they raised. I've lost count. He does as he pleases. what I'd call luxurious. <laughs> I'm not really with them. Don't hurt me! You there! Stop! You'd better not lay a finger on me. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Senathar, give me patience. What is the meaning of this intrusion? Who are you people? What do you think you're doing here? Quisley Silvel? He belongs to Laleus now. She is the daughter of Sithis. And none dare defy her. Please. No! No! Quisley is Laleus's consort. You'll find them in the Vein of Scorn. I think the way there is back the way you came. They caught a dark elf sneaking around. Even now, she faces the death of the Crystal Fangs in the Ritual Room just ahead. But Laleus isn't there. She... I don't believe him. I think he knows more than he says he does. The Daughter of Sithis? The Fane of Scorn? Hardly. The only thing that interests Quisley is himself. I do... I'm not sure I believe this sniveling cultist. But we shouldn't let anyone get sacrificed. Not even... Please. I know where a map of this place is. It's not far. Just, you know, don't hit me. Helpful of you. What else can you tell me?
Thank you, stranger. Let's talk somewhere safer. Those idiots. Oh, my skin still feels like I've got a thousand tiny spiders biting me. That was horrible. Ah, the dutiful and not terribly clever mage. I'll bet he's angry with me. Then you understand my predicament. I need Silvel if I want Lars Tull off my back. But it's not worth getting myself killed over. I thought I'd slip in, knock out a smuggler or two, grab this Quisley fellow and be back in Leowin in time for dinner. Not much. Lars Tull suspected that Quisley was hiding out in a smuggler's cave on the coast. He must be in deep. If Lars Toll is willing to write off what I owe to get his claws on Quisley. I borrowed gold against imagined winnings like every gambler ever. I found notes left behind by some unfortunate scholar. I did. Good. I saw a rough map of this place before I got caught. So I think I know where to go. I'll keep out of your way if you run into more cultists. After that ritual, do these socialites know? <sighs> You're not part of this cult, are you? In fact, you appear to be... lost. Your dark elf friend watches me with no small amount of suspicion. Perfectly understandable, but I'm not a slave to my hunger. I have heard the name. The daughter of Sithis herself has him. They hid the switch for a secret door under that crate over there by the wall. Clever if one is a child. Give Lalace my regard. Ha! Wait. Would you do me a favor in return? Perhaps before you rush off, you might unlock this cell? I came here hoping the temple held answers about my condition. But the cultists discovered me as I fed upon an unwary noble from Gideon. Yes, that would be an elegant solution to my predicament. I'm still capable of gratitude, stranger. I just want to be free of this place. Thank you. Perhaps the friend you seek might still be alive. <laughs> I knew it. I never grow tired of being correct. This should take us right to the cult's hidden temple. Come on! Hold up a moment before we go on. I stumbled headlong into a bad situation once already. Nothing good. I wouldn't go so far as to say that it comes down to bringing Quisley in, or taking his place. But it's clear. This may sound ghoulish, but... If Quisley is dead, I'd like his signet ring. Someone's coming! Oh, there you are! I'm afraid I wasted my time on that cultist. He knew nothing. Glad I caught up to you. Oh. You put the fear of the gods into our captive cultist. He was sobbing on the floor when I gave up and left. 
Our weepy friend told me that Quisley's quite taken with this daughter of Sithis. Figures. My guess is he told her his family is wealthy, so she's keeping... She seems like the sort who expects the worst. I remain optimistic. Not at the cost of his life. I'll figure out something. You're not even going to apologize, are you? No use in a fight right now. What I'll are keep you back. doing here? Arise, my way. brother. Kill these trespassers. I'll just. Oh dear. I'll get out of the way. I need to grab Quisley before he runs off again. The little bastard. would never have hurt me. She said so. <laughs> she murders people, you... you idiot! You were probably next. I'm not talking to you, Bastion. Nor to that rude, dark elf that just laughed at me. You spoiled everything! You and that lumbering oaf my father insists on sending to make my life miserable. And whoever that... well, that's... <laughs> That's just your opinion. Everybody here treated me as a guest of honor. And Lelace, the daughter of Sithis, chose me to be her consort. She told- That is no concern- Wait. Did you say Lars Tull? Is that why the Dark Elf's here? I've seen- I can't believe they sent Bastion after me again. They treat me as if I were a wayward child. I am- Claim me. I am not some sack of flour to be bargained over. Oh, very well. Bastion works for me, indirectly. I'll... Bastion doesn't seem very fond of Quisley. I can't imagine why. We compared notes while you were talking with that simpering idiot. Years ago, I lost everything trying to get my brother out of a fishy trading scheme. Lars Tull offered to help me. I'm still paying for it. If Bastion's willing to work with me, and perhaps forget about the knocked out and tied up business, I think we might have room for a compromise. Once we get Quisley out of here, I'm done. I've paid my debt to his family three times over. First, we need to get Quisley out of Blackwood. Tanare doesn't have anything personal against him. Well, no more than anyone else who meets him. I'll threaten to tell his parents about this whole affair unless he cooperates and goes straight back to Daggerfall. I think we can all walk away from this. We ship Quisley home, secretly. Then we make sure that Tanare has something she can take back to Lars Tull. Thank you, friend. I think Lord Silvel would agree that you've earned your payment. What do you think, Tanare? Are you willing to give it a try? I'll need to bring Lars Tull proof of Quisley's demise. What kind of proof would you need? I'm clearly not dead! If I bring Quisley's signet ring to Lars Tull, he'll believe me. That's what I was thinking. I'll tell the Silvels that Quisley sold the ring to pay his debt. I'm right here! That ring should work. It might even cover most of Quisley's debt. What? My ring? I'm not giving you a damn thing! Bastion, keep that woman away from me! Here you go. I'll make sure Quisley understands to stay away from Blackwood. Monsters? Thank Villains? you. What's this the trouble? This should clear my account with Lars Tull. 
And perhaps clear yours with this ingrate and his family too. We should leave this place. I'll see Quisley on his way when he comes around.